More than 2,000 dogs will be competing, but only one can take home the title best in show. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch takes us behind the scenes at Westminster. Being this good looking takes time. About an hour, hour, two and a half every day. So okay. Every day. Every day. Bathing, trimming, fluffing, combing, fur spraying, the necessary beauty rest. Of course, there's always time for treats. And belly rubs. After all, one must look and feel their best when walking into the ring. What does a day in the life of Journey look like? Sleeping, eating, getting spoiled. A Pomeranian, a miniature Schnauzer, an Airedale Terrier, all prepping for showtime and vying for the title Best in Show. Are you ready for show? Are you going to be oh, the best in so show? Ready. Pants. This is a fierce competition between canines. The Super Bowl of dog shows, says Chat Reinders, president of Westminster Kennel Club. 2,500 dogs came here from all over the country, 49 states and 14 different countries. While dogs take center stage, humans play a part too. There are owners and breeders. Is it a big financial commitment yes. from you? Yes. And so why do you do it? This is probably the number one thing on my bucket list and I just got crossed off today. There are handlers. I think it must just be in my blood and that and I'm slightly crazy which is why I can't not do this. And spectators too. Ten-year-old Alexa Richardson comes to love on as many pups as possible. What is your favorite breed? Um, I actually can't decide. I like a lot of them. No matter the title, all humans are here for the love of dogs. This is Bibi. She is a dandy Dinmont Terrier, an extremely rare breed. But even more impressive, she just won best of her breed and is on her way to possibly becoming best in show. We'll have to wait till tomorrow to find out which dog wins bragging rights. From Pier 94, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. And Best in Show will be decided tomorrow night at the Garden. I can hardly stand the suspense. <laughs> right?